You're now tuned into Kofi's Universe since you're just sitting on Uranus. This is the number one YouTube channel for hip hop culture news, informed black social issues, song reaction videos, and even comedy. So be sure to like this post. And if you haven't already subscribed, do so right about now. Razzcast. YouTube salute. All right, y'all, the hard part five by Kendrick Lamar, AKA Oklahoma, his new moniker. He's back. Let's talk about this. This is my review of the song and video. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Please check out <sighs> Push Your Tease is Almost Dry Review in the album review playlist. So Kung Fu Kenny is back once again. And um, everybody was wondering when he going to drop his new single, when he going to drop his new single. So this is the fifth installment of the Heart series of tracks. It serves more like the promotional single for the Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. This is Kendra Lamar's double album that's coming out Friday, May 13th. And the song is what? Five minutes and 42 seconds. And in the song, it features the faces of Kanye West, Will Smith, OJ, uh, excuse me, OJ Simpson, Nipsey Hussle, Jussie Smollett. <laughs> you know, those are the people that's in the video as far as the Photoshop um, faces. Everybody's been waiting for this and people are like, damn, what the hell is going on? Why he got these faces? Like, why he doing this? You know, so breaking it down at the beginning, you know, you see um, a statement saying, I am all of us. And what does that mean? Can I, you know, analyze that? Yes. What I mean, I'm all of us is as far as black people, when he talked about the culture. So think about it. When he's talking about the culture is, I'm Kobe Bryant, you know, I'm the GOAT. I'm the one that gave LA hope, you know, y'all threw me under the bus when that white woman um, said I raped her and I did it. And I had to prove myself once again to why I deserve to be at this, you know, this plateau. Then when I pass away, now you appreciate me more than ever. Um, using OJ Simpson. So many people love OJ Simpson when he played football for USC, when he played for the Buffalo Bills back in the day and, you know, other teams, you know, but when OJ Simpson went to jail for that double homicide, you know, he got found out guilty, people were still kind of like, uh, eh, whatever, Jesse Smollett lying, you know, people was trying to feel sorry for him at the beginning that he went against him. Then you had um, Nipsey Hussle, you know, that was his one of um, Kendra Lamar's close friends. He was murdered in 2019, and you have Will Smith. People love the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Come on. The situation with Will Smith, you saw how they attacked him. So when I analyze, uh, excuse me, and Kanye West, people love Kanye West when he first came out, and then people think Kanye West is being bipolar. Uh, you know, slavery was a choice, like all these things. And I feel like when he say that, you know, I do this for the culture because we are the culture and you just can't separate yourself and say, well, I'm just going to choose nothing but positive things for black people only. We all come with a package. It's like when you marry somebody, you marry that person. You can't separate things that you don't like about that person because it, it doesn't work like that. You, you accept everything about them. I'm not saying you have to love it, but it's a part of the package. That's the thing. So I really felt like the visuals was dope as hell. And you have the uh, Marvin Gaye, I Want You sample. Now I love that song right there by Marvin Gaye. So he has that sample. This track is produced by Beach Noise. You know, he's going in talking about like how the culture um, has really, it's evolved, it's evolved, but it's actually like a cycle being repeated. You know, like, there's no more car washes, like he mentions. Now we got the GoFundMe accounts on social media where people try to get money to bury their children. Then, you know, he talking about friends being bipolar. You know, you, it's hard to trust people. What's going on? History repeats itself. You know, making amends and you find a person that looks just like you trying to actually kill you. Um, and it hurts. You know, he said it's uh, dehumanized and sensitive. Scrutinized the way we live for you and I. Um... Enemy shook my hand. I can promise I'll meet you. He's just letting it be known that everything we go through is more like 
it's like this this cycle that you know um systematic racism that has set up for black people and people are not looking at this and this is something i can analyze and break down to a you know to a t you know when he showed the face of kobe bryant it just made me feel like you know i didn't know i was gonna be here but you know i'm here and i'm still showing love over looking over the city of la as far as you know just who I am and my family. I know they miss me. Showing Nipsey Hussle, and that was very powerful when he said that pay dues made rules change out of love. Them same views made schools change curriculums, but didn't change me staring down the barrel of the gun. Should I feel resentful? I didn't see my full potential. Well, he's trying to talk about Nipsey Hussle putting the STEM programs in LA and he, did he reach his full potential? Nipsey Hussle was just scratching the surface. That's what he was talking about. Should I re feel regret about the good I, that was that was into? Everything is everything. It ain't coincidental. I woke up that morning with more heart to give you. So he was trying to do something positive that day, saying to my brother and to his my kids, I'm in heaven. To my mother, to my sister, I'm in heaven. To my father, my wife, I am serious. This is heaven. Saying like, I reach the next level as far as like I'm looking over y'all. I'm protected now. Like I'm not in pain no more. To my fans, make sure you make them investments. Well, didn't he help so um, preach? Did he talk about generational wealth? Did he talk about financial literacy? Yes, he did. You see? See, I look at this. And to the killer that sped up my demise, I forgive you. Just know your soul's in question. I seen the pain in your pupil when that trigger had squeezed. What he was talking about is, it ain't you. I had the problem of killing me because it's bigger than you. You were just a pawn on the chessboard. I know it was somebody bigger behind the scene that wanted me killed. Just like when you break down how Malcolm X got killed by, quote unquote, the NOI. And it was people from the NOI that was actually used as pawns to kill Malcolm X, but it was bigger than the NOI. We know it had to do with the FBI, CIA. We know that. We ain't we far from them. Come on. Um, and through... And what you did to me was gruesome. I'm surely relieved. I completed my mission. Wasn't ready to leave, but fulfilled my days. My creator was pleased. So he said, I did what I was supposed to do. Like he's speaking on Nipsey. I can't stress how I love y'all. I don't need to be in the flesh just to hug y'all. The memories recollect just because y'all celebrate me with respect. The unity we protect is above all. And Sam, I'll be watching over you. Make sure the kids watch all my interviews. Make sure you all your dreams will be produced. Keep that genius in your brain on the move into my neighborhood. Let the good prevail. He's talking about when Nipsey Hussle said everything's working itself out and his brother, like, you know, continue to do what you've been doing because you have the mind. Look for salvation when troubles get real because you can't help the world until you help yourself. And he's right. You got to help yourself first. That's the only way you can help the world. See, people thinking that you got to go out here and be like this egalitarian. Not necessarily. You got to do what's right for you. Ain't no way you're going to help the world when your house is trash. You got to do it yourself. And I can't blame the hood the day I was killed. Y'all had to see it. That's the only way to feel. And do through the, my physical won't reap the benefits, the energy that carry on Emmett still. Um, I want you. So what he's saying is, I'm not going to blame the hood. Because at the end of the day, they needed to see this is what it is. This is how people really feel about you. This how they feel about me. And like I said, using the visuals of Kobe was beautiful and a genius. And even looking at you know, OJ, you know, everything that was going through that time, I just feel like this was great. Everything he did, you know, from rapping on the sample from Marvin Gaye, using the visuals, this is what you call you using your the intellect side of your brain when you taking your craft to the next level. Cause everybody is Oh, I, I'm going to do what he did and I'm going to make me. No, like I'm going to create something totally different that's going to stand out. You got to stand out in hip hop. You got to create your own lane that's totally different. And so, dope song. Um, for real, like I said, if you got a chance, pay attention to it. Look at the video again. Analyze the lyrics. And if I'm missing anything, tell me what you think about the lyrics. Tell me if you analyzed anything that you picked up. Did you like or dislike this song? What you like about it? I'm oh, sorry. Oh, if you liked anything. What did you like? What you dislike? Or rate the song. Are you ready for the Devil album? May 13th. Post your comments below. Oh, smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. 
Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.